right welcome back to the channel how are you all doing yeah Jay here and i'm so excited because look what i've got this is the fluted pumpkin or the ugu or okongobong as we know it in cameroon i finally have a seedling to show you if you've been on this channel for a while you know i have been struggling to get the seeds to germinate this has got to be one of the most delicate seeds ever and i am determined i am determined to figure it out so after several several failed attempts i finally have a tiny shoot coming out of the ground of the ugu or the okongobong and so this video is to share with you the process i documented the entire process how long it took what i had to do etc etc in this video if you're new to the channel hello and welcome thank you for clicking to watch i hope you consider subscribing what i do here is share videos about gardening and wellness and to members of the tribe you know how much i appreciate you all as you watch if anything adds value to you don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed please consider doing so thank you and catch you on the other side look what i have look what i have finally i think these are viable these are okogobong seeds i am so so excited i'm going to plant them look this one is almost germinating so i'm sure that these ones will germinate i'm going to plant them now i'll plant them in containers So this time I decided to nurse the ugu seeds in containers. Previously, I had put them directly in the ground and they did not germinate. Since this was in the fall and it was going to get cold at some point, I figured I'd do it in containers. That way I could uh, move them around. The soil I'm using is just one that I made up by myself. So I used some, um, the white stuff in there is perlite and then with some soil from the garden and some peat moss. Yeah, I mixed all of that up. Put my seeds in there in the right orientation cause there is an orientation to planting ugu seeds. Trust me, I've followed all the steps because I have made my fair share of mistakes. So I put the pointed tip down. Um, and then now I am watering. I had maybe about 23 seeds. At this point, I'm just really hoping and praying that the seeds will sprout. Yeah, it's been at least 20 days since I planted these. And look, nothing yet. Absolutely nothing yet. And I'm getting quite impatient. So I'm going to check what the hell is going on in here. Okay. Let's find out if there's anything happening. So I still have the Okongobong seed in here. Let's look. Okay. Looks like there's something happening. All right. I just need patience. Looks like we have roots. look a bunch of roots something is actually happening i should have left this alone maybe i'll take it to the garden i'll take this one to the garden i'll take this one to the garden so we have okomobo roots it's been 20 days no shoot yet and as you can see i planted it like this this orientation and the roots have formed from that tip i'm expecting it to crack open and the shoots to come up from here that's why you need to plant it in this orientation because the roots come down from here and the shoots goes up like this. I'm going to take this one that I have messed with now to the garden. So this gives, gives me a lot of hope. Gives me hope. Because it was getting colder in the season, I decided to move some of the ugu seeds, that's the fluted pumpkin seeds, indoors. I moved just the four and I left the rest of them outside in a makeshift greenhouse that I had created. 
I mentioned in the beginning of this video that these seeds are extremely delicate. That's because when they are broken out of the pot, they come out of a pot that looks like a pumpkin, a huge pumpkin. Um, the viability starts to drop. The longer it stays out of that pot, the viability drops significantly. And these seeds are not readily available out here in the diaspora, mean out of Africa. So getting the seeds on time to have them germinate has been a nightmare for me. And when you do find someone selling them, they are usually very expensive, which is why I am determined to grow this plant in my backyard garden to the point where I can get seeds. I can get the pots to form and then get seeds so that I can help the rest make it of more the affordable, over here. make it reachable to many gardeners. So if you're new to this channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And Thank you. I have a bunch of weed, but no Okongobon coming out. But I'm confident that it's something is happening inside. And in a matter of days now, yeah, something is happening. See that? See the root? So it's going to come out. Yeah, it's been 20 days and nothing yet. I'm going to wait for these ones to germinate. It's been one month since I nursed the Okongobong and not a single one has um, sprouted yet. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm going to transfer them indoors and I've been checking to see what is going on. And guess what? Batsy, still nothing, okay? I check this one. This one here is good. See that one is good. I think it has started germinating. So I reduce the soil. Just very light soil. Let's check on this one. Just, I don't know if I had too much. I covered it too much or not. So I'm just, okay, this one is good. Put very light soil cover. I'm gonna move this indoors. Maybe it's too cold, I don't know. We'll check all of them. Yeah, this one is good. Oh, one is good. Like we cover it with soil and take it inside. So I'm gonna check all of them. So I lost a total of four seeds, and then I still have six, seven, ten, fourteen viable ones. I checked each and every one of them, and they are good. So I'm taking these indoors. Hopefully they sprout. Hello, look at what we have, tribe. Just two days after moving the Okongobong to the garage, I am happy to report that something is coming out of the ground. So we have finally some shoots. Here's another one trying to pop out of the ground. And here's another one. I'm going to take this outside now. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't like a challenge. I don't like the challenge. So I think we're finally recording some success here, which is encouraging. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. So I have recorded success. During the day when it's nice and sunny and warm, I take the seeds outside. And then at night, I take them inside. It's December the 1st in Houston, Texas, zone 9A. And I think I have been successful with cultivating the ugu or with getting them to germinate. The reason why I wanted to germinate all of these seeds is not so that I plant all of them in the backyard. It's so I can give them away. But I'm waiting to get to 3,000 subscribers and then I will offer the transplants to members of the tribe. So if you are a member of this tribe, stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do so, so you don't miss out on the Okongobong offer once we hit 3,000 subscribers. Invite your friends to subscribe to the channel. We are only 100 people, 100 subs away from getting to 3,000. Thank you so much 
Grow a garden because when you grow a garden, you grow health. Bye-bye.